Hello and welcome to Arca at Homestead. I'm excited. I like uh, Homestead, especially in the Arca car. It's uh, unfortunately one of those patented late night races <laughs> that I happened to join because it's uh, Monday night and I was excited to give this a try. But uh, of course, not everyone stays up so late as me. It's the uh, 148 right now, so it's the 145 a.m. race. I think my game plan here is... Well, first we gotta qualify. Then we can talk about game plans, because the, the, the plan will change depending on where I qualify. Feeling pretty good on pace. It's the high line. You know I love it. And it's a very loose but race car. Which is also just my fave. So, let's see if we can control it <laughs> for at least one lap. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Really easy when these tires are cold. I'm fighting through the loose right now. Almost got in the wall. Instead, kind of just taking an easier first lap. And then maybe we'll push it a little bit more this lap. a lot of concentration to make sure I'm not getting in the wall and make sure that I'm not getting too loose too. Turns one and two pretty good there. Alright, this is feeling pretty good. Alright, that should be better. I think the second lap really should be the better lap. Because uh, your tires get a little warmer, and so you can s it sticks a little bit better. So 33.5, I'm pretty cool with that. My best is a 33.3, but that was the last time we came here, I think. Hey, is that Tyler Bowers, a uh, dirt bike rider? Is that Tyler Bowers, dirt bike rider? Let's find out. If he answers. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is not. This is Tyler Bowers, not dirt bike rider. Good to see him here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, qualifying's looking pretty good. Two tenths up on second at the moment, but there's still plenty of time for guys to put times in. I think, now that, uh, <laughs> now that I got the qualifying time in, the game plan will be to maybe get a little bit of distance at first, run that higher line, and then start saving tires once I have some breathing room. And I think doing that, or the way to do that, this is all just a guess, I don't remember. I have been here before, but I don't remember. Um, what I'm going to do is do the in-car back all the way back on the brake bias. I already got it all the way back in the garage. And uh, I'm kind of going to enter from the top lane. Slow on entry a little bit more. And then use the throttle to pull it down the track. And kind of if, uh, do a uh, turn down kind of line. What is that called? Is it a turn down line? A cut down? I think it's a cut down. I think that's what people call it. <laughs> so, do that and then uh, pull it down the track. And I think that might be better for long run. But we'll find out. Hopefully it works. Because I just don't think that uh, running that high line the whole time is going to be very good. Should have gotten a little more practice uh, doing the tire signal line, but I was just doing, <laughs> having too much fun pushing the limits, running the high line in practice. So <laughs> if I if I fail with this tire saving line, it's no one's fault but my own for just going ham on the high line. <laughs> just having fun, and that's what it's all about anyway, right? We got number four right behind us, very close time. So uh, we are going to have to think long game here. Can't just full throttle it along the top line. I mean, you're never going to full throttle it. But, uh, you know, go 100% is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, 
and uh, if I do end up running the higher line, I gotta remember to uh, brake a little harder later in the run and adjust to the tire wear or else I'm gonna end up in the wall and uh, as many know, you don't want that uh, the ARCA car in the wall because it'll stick to it. 97-97. I, like I like the looks of that considering that uh, obviously wasn't saving tires the first couple laps. Oh, I believe it. All right. Here we go. Hmm. I'm going to do all-time best first. Can't hear what these guys are saying. Turn up the volume just a little bit. I don't know if they're talking to me or whatever. Uh, but hopefully we can have a good run here. I'm allegedly supposed to win, but easier said than done. I'm typically not like a win every race kind of driver. I'm more of like a, yeah, get the top five and then get some I rating from that kind of driver. I'm usually not aggressive enough to end up getting the win. So even when I'm like the number one car, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to get the win. I'll probably finish top five or something. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe top five is optimistic. Maybe I'm terrible at saving tires. Who knows? Lots of things can happen. Kind of a shorter race, though. Only 35 laps. It's pretty short. So maybe it won't be so bad. Nice pole, number one. Thanks, man. I love this track. I suck here. I do not deserve being this split. Say about the split. Get to my boy Treat him right and good luck. I swear, whenever I get nervous, like before a race, I just like I get deaf. <laughs> like I can't hear anything. Everything gets blocked out, and I like can't comprehend what people are saying because I'm just like super nervous and hyper focused on what uh what I'm doing. One left to green. I'm gonna go ahead and take the access road just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> we uh if you can speed up that would be lovely. Or run to the wall, that also works. Alright. Second gear start looks like. Yeah, second gear start. See if we get a good jump. And remember, it's going to be really, really loose to start with. Get ready, going green. Ice car is off, be ready. Green, green, green. Pretty good jump, I think. Sure, how to take this first corner? I'll take the high line, sure. Okay. Yeah, kind of a weird choice there whenever you're not quite up to speed yet. Well done, Colton. Good start. Like I said, get some uh, space off the start, hopefully. And then we'll worry about tire saving later. Not too long later, though. Just uh, need some breathing room first. Then I'll feel good. Go, buddy. Alright. The guy behind has just done a 
Let's see if we can save some uh, tire now. So I guess we'll do uh, session last lap now, then. I have to check my in car. I'm not sure if I have. Uh... No, I don't. So get this back. Should have done that sooner. Should have done that from the start, but we're good. Probably doesn't even make much of a difference. He's approaching us from behind again, so we'll try to make a faster lap. I don't want to be racing side by side. You're now in the lead. That lap time was 34.1. Check the car inside. Keep high. More he tries to get by me doing these like uh, harder lines trying to pass below me. The more he's going to wear his tires. He seems like our biggest competition here. So. We're going to let him think he can get by me for a minute. <laughs> Maybe he can. I don't want to try to let him, but... Car inside. Hopefully he doesn't just slide up into me. I kind of am trusting him here. Stay high. Clear. Car inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there, inside. Stay out of the wall, that's for sure. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Yeah, he's gonna tear his tires Clear off doing inside. that, I think. I'm not doing my tires any favors running the high line, but I feel like he's going to be even worse doing that, so. Ooh, got loose. Inside, clear inside. Caught it, though. I want to make a habit out of that. Inside. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Clear inside. Sliding. Oh, he almost crashed. He did crash. He's into the wall. Well. Now we are on easy street. Fire save. <laughs> well, we made him try as hard as he could, and, uh... Well, a little bit more than that, I guess. So now we're just gonna take her easy. Cruise a little bit. Try to be on that uh, right rear rather than the right front. And uh, if they start getting closer again, maybe push a little bit more. Oh, that sucks for the four, though. He had great pace. So two's running the high line to try to catch up to us. Probably will, unless his tires fall off too soon. Reach us. Go ahead to take a fast repair. He's coming back out. I hope he doesn't blame us somehow for it. And he's going to be mad. <laughs> I don't think I did anything, but... Uh, maybe he feels I wasn't close enough to the wall or something. Got to be ready. Just a uh, worst case scenario in case he's mad for some reason. So I'll, I'll watch for him. Essentially, I'm using like the loose feeling I get when I'm on the high line, and instead of uh, counter steering it away, using that looseness as the way to turn my car down the track. 
and steering with the throttle instead of the steering wheel. And ideally that's going to be nicer on the right front and instead use the right rear and uh, help with long run speed. That's the theory anyway. Maybe you can use the seam a little bit to help a turn. I think we're good though. Number four is fighting the number two, which is uh, not what you like to see. I'd be kind of upset if I were the number two. But what you're gonna do? I guess four wants to prove a point or something maybe, and say like I could have won this race. We'll find out what his plan is when he gets here. Maybe he does want to wreck us. Reasons unknown. Still not even halfway. I guess this is a little bit longer of a race than I thought. I don't know, 35 just seemed pretty short to me. It looks like the two's falling off. He's at point nine now. Being real easy in the corner. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep inside. Our old pal is back. Still inside. Clear inside. Car inside. So let him go. I don't want to fight him. Clear inside. I just asked that if he's gonna overtake me as a lap car, he drives away. I don't think you'll have any issue doing that. Unless it spins or something. I'm just going as fast as I need to at the moment. I kind of want to check in on the high line periodically though. See how it's feeling so that way I'm not completely surprised if I do have to run it again. I remember how it feels. Gotta be delicate with the throttle and you know, be on and off it as necessary. Really like Homestead though, and these uh, types of cars. Less so whenever it's a car that's gonna. Just be flat out. But uh, in these cars where you can run the high line and and uh, have a loose race car, it's a lot of fun. Well, two is kind of here. Now I'm nervous. Right through the loose, don't let it get me. Close to the wall, but do not touch. Do not touch the exhibits. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Price feeling great. That's good news. Still a nice, uh, nice balance, it feels like. Oh, they're wrecking behind us. Or something. I missed what happened, but all of a sudden they're a uh, full second behind, so. Uh, cruising back down Easy Street, I guess. <laughs> you gotta have speed, but you gotta be steady, too. Because that's a whole lot of time to lose. We will just put this lower line. I 
Looks like there are a fair number of wrecks happening back there, judging by the number of people that are in the pits and stuff. And I mean, two separate guys who are chasing us down from second have wrecked or hit the wall in some way. So uh, there have, uh, have been a fair share of troubles this race. Whoops. A little loose on that low end. Lower side. Got a little bit too low, that's why that happened. So, uh, theory is... It doesn't matter how far you win by. Just that you finish in the P1 spot, so... There's no reason to go and torch my tires trying to get out to a huge lead or anything. I might as well just, uh... Take it easy, be as nice to the tires as possible to hold uh, a nice gap. And then theoretically, there's, there's no way I can lose. That sounds really pompous. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, the idea is like, one way I could lose is if I just start trying to hit qualifying laps and then absolutely destroy the tires. So let's not do that. Let's make sure we don't do that. Let's make sure that uh, our tires are happy as well. We're in a great position here, so we might as well take advantage of it and not overdrive the race car. Overdriving would be uh, increasing the chance for mistakes as well. So uh, no, no real reason to uh, get crazy. We'll just log our laps, watch that gap, and uh, enjoy this nice sunset here in Homestead. It's not quite sunset yet, but the sun is getting lower in the sky. Maybe by the time this thing's over. Nah, probably not. <laughs> There's not too much time left to go. Like I said, pretty short race. I might do this again later in the week. One, because it's really fun, and two, I would like to uh, join a larger strength of field race if possible. So I think uh, it only split once. And of course I'm the number one, so... Whoa, the lighting is getting really weird really quick. It's got real pink. <laughs> it's weird. Oh man, the lighting's doing weird stuff. I guess we got like cloud cover mixed with like it transitioning to sunset. So the lighting's doing all kinds of different things at once. That's kind of funny. wonder if we're going to get rain on iRacing this year. They teased it for a long time and said it's been getting closer. Maybe this is the year. Very curious. I have a feeling like they'll probably have it on road racing, like, first though, right? Maybe they'll have it, like, everywhere. But, like, it's, rain racing on oval is not really a thing. So maybe they won't, like, optimize it for that. I don't know. I don't know quite what to expect on that. But uh, I'm not one of those guys that have been begging for rain or anything. But I think it would be a very interesting element to add. I don't even think I've done a, like, road course night race yet, though. Where you actually have to have your headlights on and stuff. I don't even think I've done that before, so... You've just done a 35.1. Don't need to be talking about rain, especially whenever, uh... I can't drive when it's dr uh, dry in road racing at this point, so <laughs> we might talk about driving in the rain. But uh, it would be very interesting to one day maybe do like a road course race in the cup cars, like a, a rainy a roval race or something. That'd be very interesting. And uh, I trust iRacing to uh, do things right. That's why it takes so long for them to do things, because they care about doing things the right way, so. so. Lots of marks on the track. Uh, they care about doing things the right way, so. I know that they're actually, like, plotting out where all the drains are on the tracks, and so where water will pool and everything. It sounds like they're really taking care to make it accurate, which is, uh... Hey, that's why we're here, right? Supposedly, uh... The most accurate simulator there is, I guess, <laughs> in certain ways. That's uh, fun stuff. 
Maybe we will get uh, some nice sunset colors by the end of this one. We're already getting that like pink glow. Oh, and look, now we're on our uh, odometer, is it odometer? That's mileage, isn't it? Speedometer, whatever. Uh, tachometer? I don't know. I'm dumb when it comes to car things, which is kind of sad, actually. But anyway, my point was, got the nice pink glow on the uh, on our RPMs down there. That number circle. Got a uh, nice glow. Look at that. Wow. We got a big gap now. I think they uh pushing and trying to catch up and probably did more harm than good. We're just kind of taking it easy at this point. Kind of at 50% half the race now. We got kind of lucky. The guys that were behind us were uh, they had some troubles, so. Uh, Suddenly we're doing okay. Four up there. It's probably thinking, look, I would have won the race had I not wrecked. And, uh, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> you did it. Wow. Got uh, four laps to go now. It's right in the corner, being off the throttle for a while. If I were uh, still kind of trying to keep the position, I would be harder on the throttle on the exits, which would uh, make me a little faster and probably uh, even out the tire wear a little bit because uh, the right rear would be uh, being used up a little more, but I'm instead with uh, no reason to push it, just being easy on it, because there's no reason to push and risk getting uh, loose out of the corner or something. Your last lap time was yes, we are uh, just cruising at this point. Just uh, Daytona USA cruising, except we're at Homestead, but close enough. <laughs> Does feel good on that seam. I think late run, maybe if uh, one does find themselves running into trouble getting the car turned, I think straddling that seam really could be a big help. So I feel the car turn more when I get right around here. See there? Kind of just let it go sideways there for a second, because uh, it'll do that. But uh, if you counter steer it enough. And you can use that to get the car turning. Feels pretty good. Real nice work. This is the white flag. Lap. It's the white flag. Sun's going down. We had a very nice relaxing race here. Get that seam. All right. And the winner is Mike Little in the number four. <laughs> it get tighter. So I'm glad I was easier in the car later on. We did it. We succeeded. Well done, Colton. Great win. I usually forget to do burnouts, but I'll do burnouts this time. Also, I want to try to get in the habit of doing more corners after the race. Because they these corners still count for safety reading and stuff. So long as the race is still going on. Thanks, good race. Alright, bring it around to the front. Actually, you know what I actually prefer doing is doing a... Alan Kowicki Polish victory lap. That's my favorite thing to do. So I think I'll do that. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Let guys get off the track if they're, uh, if they maybe wanted to practice or something. Woo! It's after the race, so, uh, loss of control doesn't count.
I don't know. It's kind of just cool running, uh, turning right on an oval. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it feels so weird. These cars are not meant to turn right like this. Ah, it's hard to control. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, one of those old NASCAR Thunder games. There was the Tiburon Super Speedway, where you could, uh, where it was a super speedway where you ran the clockwise direction. Ooh, it's tight. Not turning. <laughs> We All right, that's enough of that. We did our backward left. And pose. <laughs> Cheddars with the victory. Everyone gets free croissants at Cheddars. That's what happens in real life if Tyler Reddick wins a, a race with the Cheddars scheme. It hasn't happened yet because he has not won his first career race, but maybe I'll find my way to Cheddars. If uh, if he wins a race, been there like once, because there's only one that's like an hour and a half away from me. And it's really good. All right, so let's see what happened out there. It looked like there was a fair share of things going on. Very loose on those cold tires. Still lap one. Still maybe missed the mark on the turn in there. Seems like they're okay though. Oh, I like the Kellogg scheme. I didn't really notice uh, what scheme they had back there. Just wasn't paying attention. Tight on X, it looks like. Lime green. Oh, this is what happened to the number four. We had a pretty good uh, race going with them for a minute. He was uh, trying to do that dive down. I think he was trying to do a slide jab on us, but I just kind of was making sure to keep it gassed up enough to make sure he couldn't do it. Or maybe that was just the line he wanted. But he got too loose there, and then I thought he was going to save it, but then he just couldn't get a hold of it. One thing I did do is I switched to 14 to 1 steering ratio when I would normally do 16 to 1 on tracks this big, just because of how uh, hard it was to control the car. So I'm wondering if maybe he was 16 to 1, and that's why he was having so much trouble catching it. No way of knowing that, but uh, that stinks. He had great pace, and he had to, they brought him into the pits there to fix it. Oh, no. That, one there, that again looked like they had it saved. They hit the apron and got loose. It looks like they were okay there, and then shot off to the right. That was crazy. It looks like they had it all <laughs> under control, and then just darted right. That's the number 12 into the wall. Top 5 at that point. 10 in the top 10 with the Tony Stewart scheme. Depot. And they just pull off? Did they give up? I think I remember seeing their name leave partway through the race. I don't know if that was necessary. I don't think it hurt them too bad just hitting the wall like that. Maybe it said to come fix it, but I mean, you've got the fast repair and everything. I don't know. Car's getting tighter, so that high line's getting harder to run. Oh, he's trying, though. I think he's going to get it again, though. Yeah. Pulls it off pretty good. Didn't get stuck up there too bad. Two trying real hard to catch up. Looks like he got stuck to the wall a little bit. Yeah, at this point, the car is really tight. It's right about then where it really starts falling off about halfway through the race. It uh, seems like it has, it's actually pretty clean overall, because we're already on lap 30. Some rows back if they had, after they had some trouble early on. Just a little bit of a wall scrape. Not too much going on still. It's a whole lot of that. That might have been a case where I was looking at that guy in front. Lost track of the wall. And that's it. So overall pretty clean. That's good to see. I think this could be pretty clean racing uh, once you get past the spin-out phase early on in the race. 
We had a uh, one, two, three, five, six. If the four had uh, kept it up there, well, he probably would have finished second or third with the pace he had, but uh, who knows? But uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. I always love running uh, Arca Homestead. Got the win, and uh, like I said, maybe I'll do it again sometime this week. Cause uh, I always love running that high side. Always love running the Arca car. So we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.